So here we are, heading south towards Wall Street along the banks of the River Hudson, just leaving Hudson Yards as we embark upon our drive around Manhattan. And we're gonna check out the new Lucid Building, which is exciting. Ahead of me, I can see the One World Trade Center standing there majestically. Adjusting my driver's settings here. Quick controls, working very nicely, very intuitive. Select the air conditioning. Down the temperature a little bit here. Massage seat function, go through that menu. That's very intuitive. That's good. I'm really enjoying the glass cockpit here because it's just, uh, you know, it, everything that I need, all the driver instrumentation, all the driver information is really on line of sight with the road. I don't have to take my eyes off my central vision. One of the great things with the display is that I can get very precise finger touch because of the ergonomics with my elbow. My elbow's controlling where I can position my finger very precisely. So we can have smaller icons and more precise interaction. Yeah, this is good. So I think this, this IP, this instrument panel quality, is really there. It's absolutely fabulous. That's production ready. But some of these little switches, are, we need to play with and adjust the uh, the detent spring stiffness and, and detent ball, just to give them that Swiss watch quality. And just checking for visibility here in this dense urban environment, it's pretty good. We modified the mirrors for um, enhanced visibility from the betas. So we were getting a blind spot between the mirror and the A-pillar, and we made a big change quite late, drove the supplier nuts. And, and the engineering team, but man, it was worth it. Now it's paid dividends. Just facing up to these issues and nipping them in the bud. It's really lithe and agile here, very maneuverable. I'm going to try this cobblestone surface now. This is Belgian Parve in Manhattan. This is like a durability test track for the car, and we're getting all these range of inputs. A real great test for not just the longitudinal compliance of the suspension, the multi-link, we're actually feeling, you know, just the great range of sensitivity through a whole range of lock angles. The ergonomics of the seats really fitting me well now. And they've got great, great support, very nice posture. I'm liking them a lot. Feeling very at home in lucid air. Yeah, well done. And this particular model is Grand Touring. So um, with Grand Touring having over 500 mile range, I think I could, could last in Manhattan for about a month before recharging. Who knows? <laughs> Several weeks at least. I'm getting a lot of admiring glances now from people in the street. Do you like it? Lucid. Thank you. It's not a nine production yet. No. Uh, later this year. No, please, please do. This car is so compact and usable in this urban city. This compactness in a big city, it's eminently usable. and really defines a new class of car with so much interior space and comfort, and yet the ability to just uh, weave in and around the traffic, park easily, maneuver. It's a great combination. There we see a Porsche Taycan. <laughs> We can get in places that I can count. Here we go into the meatpacking district. This is getting interesting. Great part of town. So here we have the new Lucid building. So I'm just pulling it around in front here. But here we have introducing luxury electric. Lucid Air is coming to town. Here yeah, we're arrived. We're going to be big in Manhattan. <laughs> is building it right the first time. My name is Arch Loud. I'm the Director of Manufacturing for General Assembly. I'm responsible for all the people, processes, and tooling where we actually put together the vehicle. In General Assembly, we get a painted unit from paint, and we have three primary zones. We've got trim, chassis, final, and then end of line. We do have some robots and we do have automation, but this vehicle is put together by humans and it takes real craftsmanship to put together. My name is Jay Sargelski and I'm the manager of launch and production operations for General Assembly here at Lucid Motors. 
GA is pretty amazing because it's the culmination of everything that makes Lucid special. We take beautifully painted, sleek body, all of the powertrain technology with the drive units and the battery packs, the expertly crafted interior components, the software technology, and we bring that all together and we send it out as a finished product. My favorite part of it is just the work between operations and engineering. It's a collaborative process and it's happening through every station in the factory right now as we're building. Quality control is at the end of General Assembly in order to make sure we are sending quality. My name is Federico Tapia and I'm the head of manufacturing quality. This design is complex, not only in the appearance, but functionality. So we need to make sure that the car we are delivering to our customers is working properly. The handoff with General Assembly starts in the roll test area and we take the car to squeak and rattles and water test then to the pre-delivery line. We are evaluating 11 subsystems, powertrain, body, interior, exterior, chassis. My name is Hector Rascon and I am the vehicle evaluation manager. We take the car and make sure that the car is free from defects. So we inspect the whole vehicle, 100% of them, for more than 180 attributes. And then this vehicle is shipped. Once everybody is agreed that the car is okay, we take it to logistics. They are in charge of taking the unit to the shipping yard. This is not only the traditional car that takes you from the point A to B, but you are living magic while driving this vehicle. From the beginning, we aspired to get the most out of this vehicle from an in-car audio standpoint. We have a lot of people in the company that are audio enthusiasts, especially around automobile. The Lucid immersive system is really about this further evolution of dimension and depth. It's not only about front to rear or left to right, it's also up and down. So we have the ability to position sounds, position tone, whether that's music or vehicle signals and sounds anywhere in space, front, back, side to side, up and down with movement. And I think that's what makes it truly unique because we always look at the automobile as like, it's a captive environment, you know, short of having a sound booth at home uh, or wearing a, a high-end set of headphones, the automobile is really like a captive sound chamber. So to be able to partner up with a technology partner like Dolby means a lot. It was very obvious to us that Lucid was trying to do something different and trying to do something that was unique to the automotive experience. The way that Lucid has approached the automobile and a lot of what I understand from a design and the creative side very much resonates with Dolby's approach to experiences. We are creators creating things for other creators. And Dolby Atmos is an immersive experience that allows creatives, musicians, artists to do things they've never done before. With Atmos, we're giving creatives a whole new way of thinking about audio to where they now just think about audio in space. When they hear it, it is always this, holy, whoa, like you get some pretty awesome reactions. Usually one of the next questions we get from them will be, this is great, so um, when can I listen to this in my car? The automobile is a unique space to curate. From a design standpoint, we put so much focus on the materials and the space of the interior, the color and all the senses. We've had to be super meticulous about the placement of hardware, speaker positions throughout the vehicle. And all of that's been done to be very hidden and discreet. You'll notice on the interior of the Lucid Air, there's not big polished metal speaker grills and things like, everything's very much hidden away and subtle because we want the sound to lead, not the hardware. The other side of that goes beyond the music and more into the sounds that the car makes. So all of the signals, warnings, indicators, and how the car communicates back to you, we're able to control those sounds and really design that to be immersive. Uh, for example, you know, if someone in the rear seat's not wearing the seatbelt, the seatbelt chime comes on, but it comes on coming from that back corner. Or when we start up the car and the startup sequence comes to life, it doesn't just come to life in front of you, it comes to life all around you. So you're dimensionally immersed in the sounds that the vehicle itself makes. And so that's a big part of it. I think Lucid is gonna inspire a whole new 
way for creatives within the auto industry and beyond to do new things within an automobile, whether it be entertainment or driver safety, etc. So what we do here is that we take one of our immersive car sounds. In this case, we work on the mock-up of a seatbelt sound, designing in Dolby Atmos. And in this room, we simulate the full in-car experience. And on this side, you see the immersive audio architecture that we've created. We designed it to be like a recording studio. It can handle hundreds of sounds and sources simultaneously. We can't wait for people to hear it. We can't wait for people to experience it. The Lucid Air Dolby Atmos experience is gonna be one that is truly gonna blow people away. And I think it really is gonna get people excited about music in ways that maybe they haven't been in a long time. This is gonna be one of those moments where people really are gonna remember the first time they, they experienced this.